Alright, so I wanted to record a video regarding the very recent announcement about Odin's nerf. So Odin is getting some changes to his abilities. And they're basically changing and removing the ability that he used to have that allowed him to stack his pre-fight buffs. And personally, I think that's the right call. I think after making some of the content I made on him and after seeing some of the other content that was made using Odin, especially when it comes to characters like Ghost, characters like Red Goblin, the stacking of pre-fight buffs was, was just not something that was sustainable, in my opinion. And I think they're doing it at the, the correct time, well, as, at least as, as correct as it can be. Uh, they're doing it right before Odin hits the crystals, right before Odin hits the arenas. And this is going to be after Odin has already hit the, the early access bundles, the $50 for for 10 crystals and also the, the ones that are uh, the, the Grandmaster crystals. And to compensate those people who, has bought, who have bought the, the crystals from the early access bundles or the ones who have bought the crystals from the Sigil store, they're gonna be granting the same number of crystals to those players for the upcoming champion that's gonna be coming out shortly in next month. Overall, I don't think that's like the best way to go about compensating those players. I think there should be like a unit value associated with purchasing an, an item in the store. But I think that is that is a pretty decent way to go about that. And it's not done there yet. They're going to be compensating and, you know, making the whole situation right even even more by fast tracking a rework and a tune up for Odin himself. And uh, they have already reached out to the CCP asking for suggestions, asking for ideas as to how, you know, they, we would want to see Odin tuned up. The tune up is likely going to be a value only update and it's going to be, as I said, sped up, available in, in not, too, not too distance of a future, maybe a month, month and a half, maybe two months until it's available and we can test them. Uh, before he hits the live servers, hopefully. And I think they have learned a lot from the whole Odin situation, because when it comes to characters that buff entire classes, they buff the entire, the entire roster, like Odin, it does really require them to, you know, do very thorough testing. And I'm, I'm sure they have done testing, but when a character is like Odin and they're buffing the entirety of the roster, I'm sure there's going to be interactions that just interactions that just don't get caught in that testing procedure. So we're going to be testing the buff for Odin hopefully soon. Uh, well, not that soon, but you know, as soon as as soon as they can get it to us, and that's going to be hitting the live servers in a shorter period of time. As far as the suggestions are concerned, uh, I put down the suggestion myself. Based on my opinions, my perspective of playing with Odin and my experiences of, you know, where he shines, where he needs to shine more, in my opinion. So, my suggestions included uh, having the, the Odin Force bonus, which is basically whenever he knocks down the opponent, he gets an Odin Force and uh, if he activates, you know, an ability with two Odin forces, that ability is going to be granted an Odin force bonus. So I suggested that suggested that they reduce that two number that require two Odin forces in order to get the bonus down to one. That way, you don't have to, you know, worry too much about landing in your heavies between your combos, and you can actually get into a pretty good rhythm with your specials especially deeper in the fights so you don't have to really worry about uh you know your heavies that much when you get deeper into the fights i also suggested that the sp1 buffs the uh, true strike and also the bulwark buff from the sp1 and also the energized buffs 
from the heavies to have their duration be extended from 7 seconds to 10 seconds. I understand that these are paused when you're near the enemy, but they can still feel incredibly, incredibly short and make playing Odin feel pretty stressful. As far as the damage is concerned, especially on the SP2, I suggested two possible routes, and one of them would be uh, have the SP2 that currently deals up to 2.75% of opponent's max health per the number of buffs on the on Odin. Uh, have it deal instead 4.2% of the opponent's max health per buff on Odin, and have the maximum damage here that's 14,900 on a rank 3 6 star have that stay the exact same this way you can deal around 50 percent of enemies max hp as long as they don't exceed the max hp that the that the damage cap is based on this way you can deal around 50 percent of that from two sp2s i think that would that would make the rotation feel feel a lot more you know rewarding a lot more um satisfying to to complete and then the rest of the 50 percent you will probably you know be doing from your base attack itself or alternatively i suggested to increase the sp2 damage cap to be based on enemies with four to five million plus hp max hp as it stands in the game right now this maximum damage cap here is based on enemies around 400k and 600k based on your rank and rarity of odin around 400k for a five star rank five around 600k for a six star uh, at rank uh, three so with this suggestion what what this would do is basically take odin to a to a different route the first suggestion would make odin more of a you know general questing everyday use kind of champion and allow him to deal with some everyday use scenarios. And the second suggestion would, would keep him mostly the same in everyday use scenarios, but make him amazing in content like Abyss, content like Labyrinth. So those would be the, the, two, own, the two alternate options that I thought they could go with. And um, also when it comes to Odin Sleep, oh my goodness, Odin Sleep, the, the worst mechanic in the game, have it be required every seven fights instead of every one fight. I came up with the seven fights by looking at Act 7, seeing that the fights, the, the lanes in there are seven fights long. So that was my suggestion with that. And my final suggestion, and I think my most important suggestion, and this actually touches on a couple of different aspects in, in my opinion. And again, this is all from my opinion. There's no Kabam approval on this. There's no... There's no certainty that this is going to be done, not going to be done. I'm just sharing my suggestion with y'all. So my final suggestion was to increase the bonus damage Odin gets from this first synergy, Battle of the Realms, with Mephisto, to 50% per living teammate, and also increase the attack rating Mephisto gets from knocked out teammates, also to 50%. Now that's a pretty big increase. And my reasonings for that are multiple folds. So one of the reasonings for that was actually going to be to make Odin feel less bad during fights where he's tired. So during fights where he's tired, he feels so bad, not just because he doesn't have access to as many buffs, but also because his damage is just like, if you do add a 200% up to a 200% attack rating from this synergy that would just be significantly alleviated in my opinion I think that would uh, remove some of the discrepancy between a tired Odin and well rested Odin it would buff a well rested Odin also but it wouldn't buff the well rested Odin as much because he already is getting a ton of extra attack rating and as far as Mephisto is concerned I think Odin, Mephisto, Hela they all synergize well together. Hela gives Mephisto the ability to recover his first soul after using it. Mephisto gives Hela, I believe, the ability to start with a bar of power. So I think they could be a good trio to, to take along a different piece of content. And Mephisto's you know, downfall, in my opinion, is the fact that he doesn't have uh, you know, high damage output. 
he doesn't get to finish fights fast enough because he doesn't have high damage output and therefore his his buff control off the sp1 and also off the start of the fight just feels less powerful so if you do give him the extra 200 percent attack rating i think that would be fine i think also the number is high but i can see you know justifying it to kabam by saying that it's on a synergy and you would need to bring mephisto along and uh, it just would would make sense to to make it more powerful because you're going to be required to to bring Mephisto along to to take benefit from it. Odin would not be reliant on the Mephisto synergy, especially if you're using him rested. And uh, yeah, I think overall that would be just a, just a good series of changes for Odin. Let me know what you all think about the. The changes coming to Odin. Let me know what y'all think about my proposed changes for Odin uh, for his tune-up. And yeah. Uh, let me know what y'all think about how Kabama's handling this whole uh, nerf situation. Thanks all for watching. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.